Welcome to Lynn Rose Crafts. Today we're going to go over how to make a paw print using um, the extra large blanket yarn. I got this from Hobby Lobby and this is an ivory you can get whatever color black um, tan brown um, to do the with make with the wreaths and some fabric of your choice whatever pattern you like it to fill in the puppy dog um, the center of the rings you're going to need some zip ties for this project you're going to need four of the eight inch wreaths from the dollar store and you're going to need a heart wreath from the dollar store now you don't have to fill in the back of these it looks really cute without it being filled in um, but for me i chose to fill them in and then you're going to decorate um, once it's all assembled um, as you desire so let's go ahead and get started with how um, you're going to do this project so let me see there you go you're literally going to take the yarn here and the steps on this is super super easy anybody could do this this would be a great craft to do with um children especially because it is so 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 easy to do um, but you're going to take this yarn on each of these pieces here all four of the smaller circles and the heart and you're literally just going to wrap that yarn around each of those pieces all right we've got all of our pieces wrapped in the yarn that we purchased uh i did the i held one end here while i wrapped it around the wreath and kind of left it dangle so that when i came around to the other side here i actually was able to tie it but if you um, can't do that you can always start it by gluing that down and then when you get back around here um glue it again but it worked out perfect um, on the small wreath to where you could just put a little tie it off in the back there you can add a little bit of glue if you need to but this is what they're going to be like at the end so you have four of those and then you have your heart wreath now your heart wreath i did start up here at the top because of the shape of it it's easier to hold that yarn in the shape of the heart and then lastly i came down to the end here where it's a little bit more difficult to fill in and added those individual pieces right at the end so to make the puppy dog paw you're going to take this heart wreath and you can do a couple different things if you love the fact that these are completely round um, you can leave them completely round or if you want to put them more in an oblong you kind of squeeze in the ends now that you've got this yarn on here it helps secure it so that you don't actually break your wreath um and kind of just pull it out and make it a little bit more oblong shaped um then perfectly circle um that way it kind of does fit better on here when you start placing these Paw prints onto this heart wreath. And we're going to secure these on here with these zip ties. So it's really quite simple to do. I do like mine to be that oblong shape more so than the perfect circle. So I like to squeeze mine in a little bit it, it makes it so that the space over here isn't you can hear my dogs in the background isn't such a big gap it makes it so that they can fit in there just a little bit better um tighter together you see that the space over here um, is much smaller than the space over here with it being completely in the circle but i highly recommend doing doing that technique once your yarn is on there um, especially in case you do break your wreath at least everything's still secure um, so to where 
that you don't have to worry about going and buying a brand new small wreath because you accidentally squeezed it a little bit too hard. All right, we're gonna flip these over here to secure it with a zip tie so that our little knobbies are on the back. We've placed all of the smaller wreaths towards the top. All right, we're gonna secure this on the bottom of the wreath to the heart wreath by feeding it in through the back and then into the next part of the heart wreath and then zip tying it down. And then we're also going to secure it in between each of the toes to make it pretty um, sturdy. I would highly recommend doing two zip ties down here into the heart and then one to two zip ties on the toes. Okay, so we've secured all of our pieces onto our heart wreath. Uh, again, using two zip ties for sure at the base to the heart and putting one in between each of the paw prints there so that when you're done here, you've got this beautiful puppy paw. Now it is gorgeous just as it is. If you don't want to put any kind of backing on it, you want to put a decoration, then you would just go ahead and secure a hanger on here and just hang it as is because it is absolutely gorgeous just as it is. But I um, like to fill it in. So I just grab literally a dollar um, store scarf um, from the Dollar Tree. And then once I cut all my knobbies off here, I'm just going to measure uh, and cut and secure and glue this on with a hot glue on the back so that it has a center to the paw prints on each of those pieces. And then of course, putting on any other kind of decoration, plaque or anything else that you would like to decorate your beautiful wreath with. Super easy, gorgeous, something for the whole family, any pretty much any age that can wrap around um, yarn around here is gonna have a great time making this gorgeous wreath. Happy crafting.